McCartney. Madam Deputy Speaker, I don't know whether it's a, a pleasure or with huge difficulty I follow those two very powerful speeches from my neighbours down in the South East, the member for Bexhill and Battle and the member for East Worthing and Shoreham. Like most people in this chamber, this has been an agonising decision, but it hasn't been made easy by the government or the front bench. By putting forward data that is, has inconsistencies, by putting forward data that has inflated projections, it's been incredibly hard in constituencies like mine, which are very rare near the R rate of one, to explain to them why we need to go into a national lockdown. Many of us fought for the right to have this debate and this vote. The right thing to do by the front bench would have been to share the data that they have that enables them to make those decisions, to share them with us, so we could argue with them amongst our constituencies up and down the country instead of spending all of our time trying to argue with the government and get hold of the data in the first place. Um, as the member for Bexhill and Battle has already laid out, in the South East it's a very different picture. We don't have a huge amount of infection rates, we don't have a huge number of beds overtaken by COVID patients, and all of our local health practitioners are explaining to us that that won't be the case either for many months down the line. So, I would have preferred to have seen the tier system. I would have preferred to see the tier system play out for a period of time and to see how it was working. But I keep being told that we need a national decision, a national endeavour. It is one national health service and that the Prime Minister has no other choice but to put us into a national lockdown. So I will be reluctantly supporting the government tonight, but with a caveat. I am putting the Minister and the government on 28 days' notice. They have had many months, but now, over that short period, they need to put in place a public health strategy that works for the whole country, not just for the North and the Midlands, but for me, in Wilden. That means taking care of the most vulnerable. That's people in my care homes. If we can test, track and trace in Liverpool, I want the same applied to family members who wish to visit their members in care homes. I'm still hearing from my care home staff that they can't get hold of tests, and when they do, they're never returned in decent time. And we need real financial analysis of the decisions that we're taking. When people lose their jobs, they lose their security, they lose their homes, it impacts their mental health. It's just more than a job, it's everything else as well. In a short period of time, I just want to raise a point that's been made by many members already. I feel that we are overstepping the mark as a country, as a government, as the Conservative Party by putting down legislation how people live their lives in their private homes. That is not a space we should enter easily. And in my experience, when men, institutions and governments get hold of that power, they give it up very reluctantly. 